8. Colonel Angus. No surprise with the belly button fuzz, brother. No offense. That's what a Sasquatch's uh, belly button fuzz. You know what I mean? Gotta love that. Probably worth some money. Yeah. Why would happen? It says 31. Oh, did I not send the oh did I not send the order? Here, hold on. I got it. Hold on. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, let's screw that up. Which I might have. Oh I didn't. Oh, you know what? I had the wrong freaking list. Shoot. No, I didn't break except did I? I have the wrong list. All right. Well, we'll go through it anyway. I, it's all wrong. Okay. So, you need a new pack? I need a new pack. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do? All right, guys. That 74 pack was the incorrect pack. So, it looks like we have some cards here. We'll, we'll do it afterwards. Um, I'll take that one. Just take the cards. Yeah. I'll keep this. Because it means nothing. All right, guys. We're going to... Uh, yeah, we, we'll do that all over again, Todd. So all good. 85 of Peachy. Let me make sure this is the right one. Now that I'm thinking about it. There we go. All right, so we're good here on the 85 Opeachy Hockey. Here we go. Let's try this again. Carver with the gum goes to Kevin. Then we'll do that 74 again. Tim Kerr. Bob Janik. <clears throat> Let's hope we get a Lemieux. That's the big hit. Mike Ramsey. Guys, two more spots in that National Treasures. We'll break it right away. Let's get it going. Who's going to buy the last two spots? Billy Carroll, spot four for Steve Vanham. <coughs> I've never opened the National Treasures box before. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be the first Panini unlicensed product we've ever opened. Gordy Roberts, spot five. Aaron Broughton, six. Doug Shedden. Seven. All right. Eight. Rich Preston. I got to do another one of our... Uh, it's a high-end Panini product, Brian. Uh, we have it up at $125 a spot. It's a single card. Brian Prop. Small world, big glove. Small world, big glove. That's what I'm talking about. 